Hi guys, good afternoon, actually good evening, it's Mother Goose here with my video of the day. I was asked to, by some of the audience to discuss what is this concept of smothering and hovering over and enmeshing means. Like she said, can you explain to me what does that mean and how do you prevent yourself from doing that? How do you work on um, having a healthier relationship? So many people already know that neglecting your child's needs is harmful, physically, emotionally abusing your child, is unhealthy, sexually abusing your child is unhealthy, but we barely get people talking about the damage of excessive helicoptering and smothering and kind of like taking over the children and what does that do to the child. So, um, you know, Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung all spoke about that, the Oedipal complex, about how the child, the boy child kind of like fantasizes about the mother and the girl fantasizes about the father and that strong connection between the mother and the boy that we have to be mindful of that it does not turn into excessive attachment where it becomes unhealthy, where it becomes to a point that the child can no longer feel for themselves, get ready for life, be able to relate to the world and have a healthy relationship. So um, one of the biggest damage is when you do this excessive helicopter parenting that you keep preventing your child from growing and developing the skills they need to get along in life. The best example is when a child has a lazy eye that's not moving, right? They don't close the lazy eye. What do they close? They close the good eye to motivate the lazy eye to start working and being able to catch up and get better. And that's exactly the same way. We do not want our children to be limited. We want to empower them so they become a young adult and they become independent in their adult life. So when a mother has nothing else to feel happy about besides the child, the child becomes their everything. So when parents say, my children are everything, or the mother says, my child is my everything, it's everything I ever wanted, it's the best thing I ever looked for. So that child grows up feeling like the center of attention. This is excessive amount of it and never takes accountability or ownership for when they do things wrong because the mom was always there to make up for it. So they'll have a hard time thriving and taking risks and being able to assert themselves. So, and they'll have challenges at work because they never really felt when things didn't go wrong. And, you know, and if they ever got a grade, bad grade at school, the mother would go um, argue with the teacher, ask them to retake it. They never let the child to own up to it, to assert themselves, to take ownership, taking responsibility away from them, not learning healthy coping skills, um, and also, you know, help making the child continue to be a child. A chi an adult that's childlike, they'll never make it in life. So even with compassion, it needs to be within moderation because adults are not infants children are not infants toddlers are not infants so when we're able to get into that mindset that i want to be the bridge kind of mother right i don't want to neglect my child i don't want to helicopter over my child i want to be that healthy bridge where it helps my child to go from infancy to childhood not to grab onto them uh, 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 don't do things like do not do things for your kids things that they could do themselves I know that it will take longer I know that it's messier I know that it's more annoying but we want to help them become the most authentic and empowered sense of self that they can be so I know like even in my own life that like sometimes it's like they make, make the kitchen upside down but I always tell my spouse I want them to do and learn to do things that they can do themselves because they will feel good about it. They will feel excited about it. Obviously, it's much faster, quicker, and less headache for me to do it myself. But what am I teaching them? What am I teaching them? I'm taking that away from them. So instead, let them. Let them use the stove. Let them learn how to do this. Let them to do that. I encourage that. 
because I always said that I, and they always make fun of me, I know you want me to raise me to be an adult and not a child. Make fun of it. I don't care. But that is the reality. Um, so, or, or parents that keep saying, oh, I care so much about you. Let me do this for you. Let me put on your shoes. Let me tie your shoes. Let me put on your shirt. No. What are you teaching them? You're making them enabled and you're making them dependent on you. And this child will have a much harder time in the real world, in the social setting that they need to be in. So the more autonomy they have, the more they're able to get along and work on these things. Um, do not overprotect your children. Part of life is being able to experience, to walk, to ride the bike, to um, try the skateboard. And even if they try and like once or twice and they fall and they get back and they try again, this is how children learn to walk. You know, this is how. And the interesting story I heard is that there was this mother in this village that really loved the baby she got after like five, ten years of never having children. And she held the baby, never letting the baby walk. And by the time the baby was two years old or something like that, it was one of the first times she put the baby on the on on, on the on her feet. And the baby could not walk because those muscles that were supposed to be strengthened were not used. And now she became disabled and not being able to walk. And we do not want to do that to our kids emotionally, mentally, physically, or spiritually. Um, like saying things to our kids, I'm lost without you. Without you, I have nothing. I'm nobody. If you ever leave, there's nothing, no purpose to my life. What are we doing? Like our children are not there to give our lives sole purpose, to be able to make ourselves have a desire to wake up in the morning. We need to have all these other ex expressions of self so we do not give that sense of um, responsibility and guilt to our children, which is very important. Uh, so also, uh, one of the things I wanted to say that, um, kind of like the blaming everything and putting everything on our child can also be very, very overwhelming. Uh, and what else was I okay. So let um, our overly being overly involved with them can really suffocate and stop their growth from being able to do things on their own. Your mission has to be, how is this going to serve my child if I'm not next to me? That needs to be our message. If it's going to make them more limited, then I'm not doing the right thing. I want to be able to be that encouraging support to my child right behind them in person or mentally, but I want them to be on the front line, not me. I want them to be the front line of their of their life. Um, oh, so like it's kind of like um unhealthy emotional involvement when like mothers especially don't have a good relationship with their husband. So they overly obsess with their child and their son and they share everything with them. They tell everything with them. So that child grows up being a surrogate husband for their mother. And they'll have a very hard time providing that to their own wife, to their own family. Some of them might even feel a guilt, like it's a betrayal or an affair to the mother to overly feel love towards their wife. And it's very, very unhealthy. So what we want to do is to have a healthy boundary. Children are not our friend, are not our therapist, are not our colleague. They are our children that we chose to have, and they are not responsible for us. We are responsible for them. So what we want to do, what we want to work on is let your children try, let them fall, and just be right there and say, I know you can do it. I know you're going to be able to get it done. Uh, help them be responsible. Take ownership. Help them to try again and encourage them at that. Let them feel their feelings. Allow the child to be, when you go take your kids to the store to buy something, instead of answering for them, let your child ask. Ice cream, um, going to getting whatever. Let your children ask for it. Let your children talk to the cashier. Stand right next to them. Work with them. Coach them. But let them be the one that asserts themselves and asks for them. Um, so also, we want our, our kids to be able to make mistakes and be able to learn from the mistakes. So it will help them also in the real world. Uh, and we want to be able to 
focus on you for you and let your child be your child and be in peace within yourself and know that there is more to you than just the mother so that you can let your child thrive. <coughs> you want to make sure that as a mother, instead of helicoptering, smothering and enmeshing with your child, you want to have a child that is able to trust themselves, that they feel uh, they are valuable, that they can take risk and it's going to be okay. They can feel confident about themselves and they know they have a voice, that they know they have an opinion, that they're able to tolerate different things that comes up with them and they're able to feel their different emotions and express it to you. It's not easy, trust me, raising kids like this, they become very assertive and expressive. But you know what? I always tell myself, I always tell my husband, it might be very challenging for us parenting them, but God willing, with God's help, once they're adults and 18 and above, we know that they can stand up for themselves. We know that they could go out there into the real world and be a self and have a self and a solid self. We might pull out our hair and get frustrated, right? And then those parents who had an easy childhood with their children, guess what? Their children never mature into an adulthood. They'll keep coming back, benefit and get help from their parents. So that's my um, message about what the smothering and meshment and helicopter parenting means. I hope you found it helpful. Make sure to comment below, share the video, like and subscribe.